All right, guys, we are on if statements. With an if statement, you do something if a condition you set is true. If not, then don't do it. It's as simple as that. We'll ask a user what their age is. If their age is greater than or equal to 18, they'll be allowed into our site. If they're under 18, well, we won't let them in. Let's declare variable age, int age. Then we'll create a prompt. Standard output, enter your age. Standard input, age. Okay, this is how to write an if statement. You type if, then a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. If some condition within the parentheses is true, you perform some subset of code. We are going to check if age is greater than or equal to 18. Greater than or equal to is a comparison operator. There's other comparison operators such as less than or equals to, less than, greater than, if you need to compare if two values are equal, you use two equal signs. You don't want to say equals, because then you're setting age equal to 18. Equals is the assignment operator. So let's check to see if age is greater than or equal to 18. Then we'll print a message. Standard output. Welcome to the site. Okay, let's try this. Enter your age. Let's say that I'm 12. Well, it doesn't do anything. Since this condition evaluated to be false, we skip over this body of code. If it were true, then we execute it. This time my age is 21. I hit enter. Welcome to the site. If you would rather do something else if a condition is false, you can use an else statement. An else statement you will place at the end. There is no condition. Else we will print standard output you are not old enough to enter. Okay, let's try this again. And to your age, I'll say that I'm 12. You are not old enough to enter. That's an if statement. If some condition is true, you do something. If not, you can do something else or nothing at all. There are more conditions you can check by using an else if statement. We can check another condition by adding else if. If this condition is false, check this else if condition. Uh, let's check to see if age is less than zero. That means somebody hasn't been born yet. You haven't been born yet. Okay, now check this out. Let's say that my age is negative 10. Then I hit enter. You haven't been born yet. Since this condition was false, we skip this section of code. Then we check the else if statement. Since this condition was true, we execute this body of code, then skip over the else statement. Let's add one more else if statement. Else if age is greater than or equal to 100. Standard output you are too old to enter this site. Okay, enter your age. I am 120 years old. I hit enter. Welcome to the site. We check these conditions one by one starting from the top. We stated that our age was 120 years old. Even though we were expecting to execute this body of code, we instead executed this body of code within the if statement. That's because our age was technically still greater than or equal to 18. So the order of your if and else if statements does matter, it makes a difference. If we need to execute this body of code if somebody's age is greater than or equal to 100, well then we should probably move that to the top. Then turn it into an if statement. Else if age is greater than or equal to 18, we will display this message. Let's try this one more time. Enter your age, I am 120 years old, I hit enter. You are too old to enter this site. So yeah, that's an if statement. You do something if a condition is true. If not, then you don't do it. If you would rather do something else, you can use an else statement. If there's other conditions you would like to check before reaching the else statement, you can use an else if statement. And there's really no limit to these. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are if statements in C++.